Okay, in this one I want to do um, just a slight variation on my first problem. <clears throat> and in this one we're again going to use the uh, disk washer method to calculate a volume of revolution. Um, so the region's the same, y equals x cubed, y equals x, x greater than or equal to zero. This time though we're going to rotate it about the line y equals negative two. So in the previous video we set x and x cubed equal to help us figure out our limits of integration. So in this problem, I'm just going to show you how to set it up. I'm not going to go through all the integration. So the limits of integration are going to be 0 to 1, the smallest x-coordinate to the largest x-coordinate, just like before. And now we're going to have to do pi times our outer radius squared minus pi times our inner radius squared. And then we'll integrate all of that with respect to x. <clears throat> So the same way as in the last part, whatever line I'm rotating about, I draw a line perpendicular to that that goes, okay, it's just hitting the, the, the region, and I draw it until it just stops hitting the region. And that's going to be my outer radius. So the outer radius is what this little line represents. Okay, so let me see if I can make this a little bit better here. All right, so, okay, so here's the outer radius. Well, what is the length of that outer radius? Well, the height of the arrow between the top of the curve and the x-axis, that's just the whatever function you're touching. And in this case, we're touching the function y equals x. So the little portion would have a distance, would have a height of x, but then we have to go another two units down. So the outer radius would actually be 2 plus x quantity squared. And then we have to do the same thing. We have to figure out the inner radius. Well now the inner radius, okay, well now I'm touching the curve x cubed. That would be the height of the arrow um, between the curve and the x-axis. But again, I have to go down to negative 2, so I'll have to go another 2 units further. So the inner radius will actually be 2 plus x cubed. And again, all of that quantity squared. So this is now the setup to calculate the integral. It'd be kind of a tedious integral. Um, I would factor the pi out, and then you're just going to have to FOIL the 2 plus x out. You'll have to FOIL the 2 plus x cubed out, collect your like terms. It should be some pretty basic power rule stuff, um, so hopefully it won't be too tricky, but um, hopefully the setup makes sense here.